Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm sure you heard, or many of you heard, about the experiment they're going to do in the UK to dim the sun, supposedly to combat global warming, and they got the okay to do this. No common sense. Scientists have received approval to soon test whether dimming the light from the sun will combat global warming, a strategy some critics have described as absolutely mad. Geoengineers at the Advanced Research and Invention Agency, ARIA, in the United Kingdom have allocated over $66 million to inject aerosol particles into the stratosphere to reflect the vital light the sun provides to the earth in a bid to hedge global warming. The experiment will send high-flying planes to release sulfate particles into the stratosphere near the lower atmosphere, which would then prevent some of the sun's rays from reaching the ground by reflecting them into space. This would be so detrimental to the environment, it would cause acid rain. Sulfates can be a significant portion of fine particle matters, um, particles that are equal to or less than 2.5 microns in diameter. And they can induce a wide range of adverse health effects Sulfates contribute to acidification of surface water and soil and contribute to acid rain and fog that damage the ecosystems, forests, and plants. Because sulfates are light in color, they can reflect energy from the sun back into space. This means that sulfates have a cooling influence on climate change. They can also reduce lung function, aggravated asthmatic symptoms, and there will be an increased risk of emergency department visits. It can also cause death in people who have chronic heart and lung disease. Groups having the highest risk of experiencing adverse health effects with sulfate exposures include children, asthmatics, and older adults who have chronic heart and lung disease. Sulfate particles are usually acidic, and when dissolved in water, they form sulfuric acid. Deposition of sulfuric acid is usually through acid rain or snow, which damages a variety of ecosystems and materials. Acid rain can increase the acidity of waterways and lakes, inhibiting fertility, growth and development of fish and other aquatic species. Strip aluminum from the soil and alter essential nutrients available to trees and plants, thereby inhibiting tree and plant growth. Acid rain can also physically damage tree leaves and needles so that they have a reduced capacity for photosynthesis. Dry deposits of acidic sulfates can cause acid damage to buildings, paint, metals, and stone that lead to premature deterioration. ARIA emphasizes safety through small-scale trials, independent oversight, and transparency. Critics, however, remain skeptical about the long-term ecological impacts and governance. Elonger is the uh, founding chief executive officer, CEO, of the UK's Advanced Research and Invention Agency. Appointed in July of 2022, ARIA, established in 2023, is a government-funded research agency designed to support high-risk High reward scientific and technological projects, modeled after the U.S. DARPA, but without a military focus. Gurr is an American materialist, scientist, and entrepreneur. Leads the agency with a mission to fund transformative innovations that could yield significant social and economic benefits. They claim that the method is aimed to mitigate global warming by reducing the amount of solar energy reaching the Earth's surface. ARIA's approach involves small-scale, controlled outdoor experiments to test feasibility and safety. For instance, trials may mimic natural phenomena like volcanic emissions using harmless materials with independent risk assessments and public disclosure of results. I don't be believe any of that BS. In their money that they received, they also got 2 million pounds 
a grant from the Bristol University for Research into the Dimming of the Sun Technologies. While ARIA's experiments are presented as a scientific and controlled, the idea of manipulating Earth's atmosphere raises ethical and practical concerns. Geoengineering could have unintended consequences like altering weather patterns or affecting agriculture, which small-scale tests may not fully predict. Here on the UK website, it says high-risk research focus. ARIA will exclusively focus on programs with potential to produce transformative technological change or a paradigm shift in the area of science. While it is anticipated that most programs may fail in achieving their ambitious aim, those which succeed will have profound and positive impact on society. Yeah, they can't say it's going to have a positive impact. They don't know. What are your thoughts about all this? Dimming the sun. Um, please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.